After 11 days on the hook between Big Pine Key and Little Torch Key, we're southbound to Key West. Wait, I gotta get on my Key West chicken hat. Here we go. This was a really nice anchorage where we're at. It was a good depth. Um, protected on three sides, low boat traffic, uh, very good anchorage. We were here for 11 days, so it's a little bittersweet when I say goodbye to somewhere we've been for so long. Um, it's like, my house, but we're on to our real home in Key West. As we've learned everywhere we go, is we really have to be aware of crab pots, so it's not gonna be a smooth sail. You just gotta keep your eyes peeled for those crab pots. Look how close they come to our boat. Ready, Captain Dan? He's ready. Here in the Lower Keys is Picnic Island, and it's just somewhere to go hang out. There's cool little signs and a beach and a little area to uh, hang out at. Picnic Island, that is really cool. We missed that. Next time. Okay, we got a lot of military planes going up right now. There's one there. Let's see if I can follow it. And um, I'm trying to zoom in and follow at the same time. Like about four have gone up already. Reminds me of home. We lived at Selfridge Air Base on Lake St. Clair in Michigan. And a lot of fun activities there. So that is the uh, Key West Naval Air Base. We're getting closer and closer to Key West. Yay! Heading to Key West. Almost there. South. This is one happy girl. Look at the water is very flat out here. It's been a great ride. Key West is about 45 minutes away. Actually, the actual key is going to be coming up to us on our starboard side in the distance, but we have to go around and up into it to get to our marina. So I'm getting very excited. You know, it's my happy place. And it's sunny, a little chilly, but I'll take a 72 degree day today. Okay, that's A1A going across there, and that is Key West. There's the southernmost point, that little red marker there. Probably a line of people standing there, and we're going to be in the background of all their pictures. Southernmost point, continental U.S. You're on Key West from a different view. Okay, I'm going to start at the southernmost point, and I'm going to scroll out a little. You're going to see the lighthouse right between those two pine trees. That lighthouse used to be on the shore and they built up so much land over the years that it's now inland. We got dolphins finally welcoming me to Key West. Hi baby! There you are! And there is Fort Zachary Taylor State Park. It's a great beach. There's a small fee to get in. Highly recommend for beaching. Traffic has gotten very, very busy as we come into this uh, little loop around the Keys here, a little channel, so to speak. Um, this is awesome. This spot right here, I don't know if you can see, this is where the cruise ships um, come in and dock. And just beyond that, there's a Coast Guard boat, there's a couple other boats in there. And right along that is where the farmer's market is. One of the best farmer's markets, um, other than Muskegon, Michigan. That's a really good one. Um, but this one is a really good one as well. Um, and I think another one plays St. Petersburg might have had a real good one, just an FYI. Anyway, so this is where everybody um, comes for farmer's markets. And we'll be coming really close to Mallory Square in the next few seconds as we uh, kind of dodge traffic on our way to our marina. My home, sweet home. As we traverse, we got lots of piers here. Um, I'm gonna zoom in, that's Dan and my new boat. That's what we'll be uh, living in once we're on the Keys. <laughs> All right, this is the beginning of um, Mallory Square and Sunset Pier. That red building, let's see if you'd see it, right there is uh, the Mel Fisher Museum with all the gold. We are on the flight path, right there. People coming into Key West, to Key West International. So right down in here is like where a lot of tourists come because it's where the cruise ships come. There's the aquarium, there's several museums in there. Sunset Pier, everybody comes to Mallory's 
water cruise along Key West here. You can see the military presence. This is a big base. And I know if you're military, but you can keep your boat here and I think your camper here. Fortunately, we don't have that privilege. On our starboard side is the Coast Guard base. And that's the Fleming Bridge and that's uh, Fleming Key. And this is also all military based here. And we're, Clarence is supposed to be good to go under this cut, under this bridge here. We should have about four feet. So we're gonna inch up and see if it is big enough. Fingers crossed. It was just a little too close to call, I think because of high tide. So we're turning around. We are currently in the Man of War Harbor and it is just full of mooring vessels. Um, we've opted not to do that because we like to ride our bikes around town and that would be a little difficult. But here, out here, there's, I don't know what these are, there's some really cool homes right there. There's one and then there's one right, right there. <laughs> the other. Get your boat off there and hang out at your house. At the end of Fleming Key, since we have to go around it, this is the Army Underwater Special Forces Training School. So divers, swimmers, I'm guessing that is quite a complex. I'm going to zoom in. You can see their insignia. Now that I can see it better, that is actually a face with a mask on it. And on the top roof, it says U.S. Army Special Forces. A oh, very cool. Okay, we're at Garrison by Marina, and that's where our old slip was, right over there. And this is like House Poet City. A really cool area to live. Love to do that one day. Now we're concentrating to get under a bridge to come on the other side this year. Get a little tight. crossed. Okay, we made this one with uh, about two feet clearance. Oh, that made me feel better. Whew. Horizon bound at our slip in Key West, Florida for the next month or so. All right, after 11 days on the hook here, between Big Torch Key and Little Pine Key. Reverse that, Big Pine Key and Little Birch Key. 